All right, this is just going way too far. This robot has 206 bones, just like we do. As a central nervous system, it has veins, and the way it walks kind of looks like a human being in itself. This is not your average robot. This is way too realistic. So this is by a company named Clone Robotics, and it says, welcome to the clone world. Musculoskeletal intelligent androids to solve all the common problems of daily lives. Just look at these things, okay? Now, something about this company is that they're very high on their hand functions of these clones. So just take a look at what they say about it. So their synthetic hands made real. So they want to make it function like a human. That's their whole idea. That's why they call it a clone, because they want it to be like human, right? Human level thumbs. I mean, just take a look at this. It can use this you know syringe surgical like precision a trigger finger and it's compatible with human tools natural rounded palms so it can grip things it can use it can cut things i mean this is absolutely wild and look at this movement i mean it's just eerie <laughs> it can you do one finger at a time Wow. So usually robots like the Tesla robot, it looks and it functions like a robot. Okay, that's weird. The Tesla robots and all the other robots you're seeing, they look and function like a robot would, you know, just like put someone doing the robot dance or whatever. But this is human like. So I wasn't lying when I said it had a skeletal system, but it also has a muscular system, a nervous system and a vascular system. I don't know what they mean by that. You can briefly read these. But basically, it has myofiber. It's the only artificial muscle in the world capable of achieving such a combination of weight, power, density, speed, and force to weight, and energy efficiency. So this is what the skeletal system looks like. And it says, the skeletal system contains all 206 bones of the human body with a small number of bone fusions. The joints are fully articulated with artificial ligaments and connective tissues with one-to-one -one ligament and tendon placement on the skeleton. This is crazy. Also, a nervous system. I'm not really sure what they mean by it. But it says, designed for instantaneous neural control of the valves and thereby the muscles with only proprioceptive and visual feedback so it has four cameras in the skull for vision i mean my goodness a vascular system it says the clone's vascular system is the most sophisticated hydraulic powering system ever designed with a 500 watt electric pump as compact as the human heart to be able to pump at a 40 slpm volumetric flow rate and 100 psi rating now the robot they're releasing is called the android and they're making 279 of these do it yourself once the clone will do it forever so it works on a telekinesis training system um, also finally a robot that walks naturally this is the walking is the creepiest part to me in the hands obviously but if you want to reserve one this is how it goes there's all these pre-installed skills where it can shake hands with your friends, pour drinks, make you sandwiches, retrieves items for you, follows you around. Hold on a minute. But I'll show you some footage of what it looks like in person. So this is the eerie video that went viral on social media of it basically coming back to life and they hung it up. It doesn't look like it's finished. Maybe it does, but you could see that this, like, look at the feet and the hands it just looks very human like so i don't know when they're going to show it actually in action but this went viral on social media just because you can see the muscles and stuff and usually robots don't look like this and i'm going to show you the hand functions right now Okay, so this is a new company and it's called One X and they literally just released this video. It's of their humanoid robot inside of someone's home, you know, functioning the way it's supposed to and it's pretty trippy. Check this out.
I swear this is just Black Mirror. No way. I kid you not. Another company just released a video. I'm not sponsored by any of these companies. There's just these robot videos going viral. This is a different company called uh, Helix, I think. Looks like Helix. Or Figure. The company is called Figure, and this is the robot Helix. Hey, Figures, can you come here? Okay, I'd like to try something new. Even though this is the very first time that you've ever seen these items, I'd like you to use your new Helix AI and try to reason through where you think they belong in the scene and then work together to put them away. Does that sound good? All right, this is like super robotic compared to the other ones. Still trippy though. In my opinion, I think these robots are going too far. Even if someone gave me this $30,000, $50,000 robot for free, that thing is not living in my house. It's not going to be around my family, none of that. I know a lot of people think it would be cool and a lot of people think it'll be helpful around the house, but imagine the small 1% chance, 0.1% chance that it malfunctions and does something weird or someone takes it over and hacks into the system and does something weird. I'm not risking it. You know, we're humans. We're gonna live with humans. We're not gonna live with robots. I mean, these things can speak. The first one had a central nervous system. Are you kidding me? Now, I'm gonna leave you with this uh, little clip of Elon Musk talking about uh, digital gods and AI and all this kind of stuff. And let me know what you think about it. But very interesting stuff lately. Now you have this remarkable repository. And I wonder what you, how you think about that again and how you think the creative community and those who were the original IP owners should think about that. I don't know, except to say that the, by the time these lawsuits are decided, we'll have digital God. So we have to ask digital God at that point. Um, these lawsuits won't be decided before on a time frame that is relevant. Um, but is that a good thing or a bad thing? I think we live, you know, there's that, I don't know if it's actually a real Chinese saying or not, but. Uh, May you live an interesting time, right. which is apparently uh, not a good thing. Um, but I, mean, I, I would prefer to, personally, I would prefer to live in interesting times. Um, and, and we live in the most interesting of times. I think, and for, for a while there, I was like really getting demotivated and losing sleep over the sort of the threat of AI danger. And then I finally sort of became fatalistic about it and said, well, even if I knew it was, annihilation was certain, uh, would I choose to be alive 
at that time or not. And I said, I probably would have choose to be alive at that time because it's the most interesting thing, um, even if there's nothing I could do about it. So then, you know, then basically a, sort of a fatalistic resignation helped me sleep at night because I was having trouble sleeping at night because of AI danger. Um, now, what to do about it? I mean, I've been the biggest, the, the one banging the drum the hardest, by far the longest, uh, or at least one of the longest uh, for AI danger. And, and th these regulatory things that are happening, uh, the single biggest reason they're happening is because of me.